Hi guys, I am back with another Japanese snack trying video. <laughs> This is my, what month are we in? April box from Tokyo Treat Box. So I thought we'd film outside as it's nice and sunny today. Hopefully it's not too windy so you can hear me. Um, and if you hear any weird like screaming, that is my chickens. And yeah, sorry about that. So I'm gonna start with the drink today. Um, it is sakura scented peach nectar peach drink um which is apparently it says there we go <laughs> the chickens mm, it smells really good it smells like like just pure peach juice i might shake it up a little bit looks like it's got um rude um bits in um it says the spring exclusive version of japan's most popular peach juice combines white peach puree Japanese grown sakura extract for a sweet and elegant taste and plenty of pulp. Don't like that word. Don't like that noise. Okay. Oh, it's strange. It's got a taste that I recognise. Like, it's not as peachy as I thought. It's kind of peachy with like a um, like a marzipan -y taste. Like that kind of almondy. I would prefer it to just be peachy, but... It's, it's okay. Sakura is like the Japanese blossom, I think. <laughs> cherry blossom. Ah, oh, so it's like cherry e. Like, that's what I think it's what it's tasting like. I'm gonna start with this. Um, I've had these a couple of times before. The caramel corns. This is Sakura milk caramel corn. So I've had the caramel ones before, and I've had a, I think a peach one before. Uh, these all kind of taste the same yeah it tastes the same we've had these before um they taste quite like the peach ones quite sweet anyway let's go for the kit kat Ooh, different packaging it's quite like papery not plasticky sakuri mochi kit kats they're like pinky ones so um i don't know if i like that or not it's very sweet it just tastes like a a very sweet white chocolate kit cow with like that tiny hint of sakura sakura um it's okay let's go for the mushroom which is another kind of marshmallow looks like a flump i think i i mentioned flump a lot in these videos because most of the marshmallows are flump like just a marshmallow it's nice i like the texture of the marshmallows they're very soft um but yeah, if you've ever had a flump, it tastes like that. Uh, let's try Mr. Onion Snacks. So, onion soup flavoured bite-sized snacks, this is. Ooh. Smells like, um, almost like pickled onion monster munch. Mmm. That's really good. I like that very nice let's do these turtle turtle crackers we've had something like this before i think um the little turtle crackers i've definitely had these before they're like tiny little bit spicy but really good savory again they're not that sweet let's try this salty full moon pon pon again came up i don't know what a pon is i think if I remember last time, it was like a very dry rice cracker type thing. Mm. Tastes stale. Like, the texture of staleness. Not a big fan. 
let's try Banana Man, which is this little thing. Banana Man to the rescue. Japanese banana marshmallow has a chocolate center, creating a delicious chewy and gooey taste combo. Oh, wait, it's not what I was expecting. <laughs> What's that shape? Um, it looks like it's kind of coated in like a chocolate thing. Um, like a white chocolate, but it's... Okay, so it's marshmallow inside with like this yellow coating and chocolate in the middle. Whoa. Very strange. Um, it's really banana -y, but the texture is weird. Mm. It's really strange. They're kind of outside coating, like sticks everywhere in your mouth. And then the marshmallow is quite chewy. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. Sorry, banana man. What is this? Mochi taro snacks. So fried mochi. We've had fried mochi before, I think. It's good. They taste like what I imagine like shrimp crisps to taste like. They, they taste a little bit fishy. But I don't know if it's just that like almost fish and chip shop grease taste. But they're really good. I like these. I could eat like hundreds of these. Let's try this because I'm not sure if I'm going to like this. Sour cider gummy. So I'm not big on sour. However, the sour things that we've had in these boxes, I haven't found sour. So maybe I just like Japanese sour. So it looks like there's like a giant cola bottle. Um, sour soda flavoured treat. So, oh, it doesn't smell like cola, which I'm happy about. So I don't like cola. It's very chewy. Not a good aftertaste. I don't know how to explain it. It tastes, um, I don't know, like a like a not very nice lemonade with like an aftertaste mm. almost tastes like medicine like aniseed -y kind of medicine taste not great these look neat they look like um french fry crisps yamato salty fries now that's interesting It tastes like burnt fish and chip shops. <laughs> like when you get a chip from the fish and chip shop that is like a little bit overdone and it tastes sort sort of fishy. That's how that tastes. Let's try the pocky. So these are Sakura flavoured pockies. I've got the aftertaste of that gummy still in my mouth, which is not great. What's what are these like then? Um, does it say about these? Classic Pocky got a high-end spring makeover with this new limited edition. The mel mellow butter pretzel base is wrapped in an elegant pink Sakura flavoured chocolate with slight elevating accents of salt. I don't know if you can see. No. But there's like tiny granules of salt on. I'm interested to see what this is like. Oh my god. That's good. It almost tastes coconutty. Like the cherry blossom mix with the salt somehow tastes like coconut. These are delicious. That's my favourite thing so far. Chocolate Umaibo. This is a mini Umaibo. They've normally been a lot bigger. So. It's interesting because the Umaibos have all been... Apart from the brown sugar one, have all been savoury. I think my favourite one was the cheese one so far. Or the corn potage one. That was really good. But this is the chocolate one. Mm. 
that really reminds me of something it tastes like wafer like super 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 light wafer covered in like really nice creamy chocolate I know what it reminds me of. You know those ice cream wafers? They're like chewy and they're like spiral chocolate and biscuit. That's what that tastes like. Delicious. We have a new winner. If there's any reason to go to Japan, it's just to go and buy loads of chocolate because all their chocolate has been so good. I can't say this word. Taiarare, maybe. It's like T A I A R A R R E. T-A-I-A-R-A-R-E crackers. Slightly sweet and nostalgic snack. They come in the shape of little fish. So I don't know if they're going to be fishy. It just says slightly sweet. So probably not fishy. Whoa. Well, they are they're sweet to look at. They are like little goldfish. Hmm. Um, I don't know, they, they're, they're a bit much of, a bit of a nothingness, they don't have a lot of taste, um, they are slightly sweet, I think they're, they're what I imagined the turtle crackers to taste like, they're like crunchy, but quite light crunchy, um, with like a little bit of sweetness, not a lot of flavour. Um, but the turtle crackers are like that kind of real crunchy, like hard crunchy. Whereas these are like soft crunchy, if that makes sense. Pandaro cookie. Crunchy with a creamy taste. Panda shaped treats are the cutest and tastiest butter biscuits. So you can get five different um, faces. Mine is not on here, is it? It doesn't say. It looks kind of like a little worried face. But that's not on here. You could get sad, sleepy, smile, hungry, and laugh. But my face is not on there. So it's very, like, crummy. Let's try it. Mmm. That taste. Oh, what are they called? Those biscuits in like assorted biscuit packs. And they're like rectangular. And they have almost like a rope threading around the edge. I don't know if they say something in the middle. Um. Yeah, that's what they taste like. Like quite buttery. Obviously it's a butter cookie. Um, but they taste exactly, it's like a thin version of those biscuits, second to last thing. Aji curry chips. They look cool, they're like roped. I love that. Almost like little baguettes. It says they're spicy. They're not. I don't think a lot of the things that have said they're spicy have been spicy at all. They taste quite curry-y. Not a strong flavour though. But yeah. They're okay. These are what I've been saving till last. Wasabi Cheetos. So I'm nervous for this. I love wasabi peas. But I don't like horseradish sauce, so interesting. Whoa. <laughs> it's like a club. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god these are so good i don't know that the cheese kind of works if they were just wasabi mm. there's that kick nice mm. i love that that's really tasty so what's been my favorite thing probably the chocolate in my bow actually that was my favorite i'm normally into more of the savory stuff <laughs> Um, but I really liked that. Then, then probably the onion ones. Then the wasabi and then these pocky. They're really good. Oh, that's all. I think my least favourite 
was the pon. Just has a bad texture. It tastes very stale, like not not nice texture at all. And I was not a big fan of that banana thing. I love Tokyo Treat Box. I think it's really good. I think after I've had a year of this, I will try um, a different country's one, like maybe Turk Crate. I think I was looking at, um, which will be cool. Turkish foods, which I've not really. I've been to Turkey once, but I didn't really. I don't remember like eating anything particularly Turkish when I was there. Um, but yeah, maybe we'll try that after our year of Tokyo Treat runs out. So that's it really. I um, will see you when I see you. Sometime.